Hi guys, welcome in our new style of videos that we will call investment finger food. The idea is that we will just present a result and we won't be going deeply into details. So it's just about seeing results and then be able to act on them. Today we are going to discuss the difference in between several options how can we save for our pension in case of Czech Republic. So we'll be comparing the already from 2013 existing pension saving funds which are supported by government, now the newly created long-term investment product from Czech government and then we will compare it against exchange traded funds which are tracking world shares or US shares and as a bonus we can try to see what would be the similar performance in case of Berkshire Hathaway, which is led by the Warren Buffett, the most famous long-term investor. And we will be discussing and comparing these options from several perspectives. The first is nominal value after 35 years. So maybe let's discuss the basic parameters and then we will get back. So we selected interest for these three similar and the same with the performance, long-term performance for world shares, which is 8% per year. Obviously, in case of the pension saving, the original one, usually these actively controlled funds do not get to 8% per year long-term, but let's be fair and use the same evaluation. Then for US shares, which will be represented by ETF on S&P 500, it's an average 10% per year. Berkshire Hathaway is usually 1 or 2% above S&P 500. Obviously, the current results and historical results do not guarantee it will be the same in the future, so be aware of that. And then, of course, we have to take into account the fees. So here is a fee for the original product, how to save for your pension in Czech Republic. And that's 1% from invested capital and 15% from the appreciation. In case of long-term investment product, it's just 0.5% from the invested money. In case of exchange traded funds, world shares is 0.2% and S&P 500 is 0.07%. We are assuming the inflation of 2%. Please be aware that in Czech Republic during the last 20 years it was rather in average 2.9, but let's take what the Czech National Bank states. We are assuming the investment period of 35 years and we will invest 2000 every month, which means 24,000 per year. Now, why should we even invest? Uh, we should invest because there is something, some magic called inflation. And this inflation is actually depreciating money, or we can say increasing the prices of goods and services. So how is that possible? If we imagine that we just take 1 million Czech crowns and we hide it somewhere at the beginning of 2017, and then we will take the data from Czech statistical agency and we would just take out our 1 million in the end of 2023. In such case, given the historical inflation, it would mean that obviously in a nominal value we would still have 1 million, but in real value, which means the buying power of this 1 million, which was hidden at the beginning of 2017 and taken out in the end of 2023 would be just 681,000. So for 1 million during the end of 2023, thanks to inflation, we would buy goods and services worth just 681,000. Or we can think about it also in a way that exactly the same amount that we can buy here at the beginning of 2017 would be exactly the same as 1 million after this time, which means end 
of 2023. In other words, the decrease is 32% of buying power. So that's the reason why we definitely should invest. Because if we don't, our money would be simply depreciated by this phenomenon. And now let's jump back to our table. So usually the people would be presenting us the nominal value after 35 years. And that's simply like this. So these are the values. So if we grow by 8%, the end would be 5 million something. The same is for dip. Now the reason why there is a difference because the Czech government is supporting more this older product. So that's the reason why the investment is bigger, because we invested more funds. And the same is for ETF, so there is no support from the Czech government, so that's the reason why we see the smaller number here and so on. Uh, what you should actually notice here is that as these percent per year appreciation per year grows, then these numbers grow pretty fast and the change here is just 2%. But on 2% on 35 years can do miracles thanks to compound interest. Now, if we subtract the fees that we would pay to other companies, then the fairy tale looks a little differently. So here we had a lot of money, but now if we paid the fees and everything, uh, somehow magically, after 35 years, we have just 3,233,000 here because the fees are much smaller, the numbers are bigger. And of course, here with the higher growth rate, the numbers are even more bigger. And in case of holding directly some shares, there are no fees connected with it. Of course, this is the most risky thing to do. And now if you also take into account inflation, because inflation is actually decreasing the buying power of money, then you see the worst possible uh, would be the old way of saving for our pension through the state supported product. The product created inside 2024 is much better. And then we see the differences for the other asset classes. Here we see how much we invested from our own pocket throughout this 35 years. So it's 840,000. And here, because some of these products are government supported, you see how much throughout this 35 years government gave you. And then if we take what we invested and what government gave us back, we can see the total amount invested. So now we can see how much the fees are taking away, which means instead of us, these money are kept by someone else. And here we can see how much the inflation takes away from us. And this is the total, how much is taken away from us. So what should be like alarming for you is that if you use this pension saving, which is available from 2013, and you compare it against the new product, which is even less supported by government, but thanks to super low fee, it can do miracles. And you can see it here that how much the fees take away from you. So for us humans, it's really difficult to understand the power of compound interest. And that's the reason why this product can take away so much money away from us, whereas this is much better option. So these two things are super simple to use. Of course, buying exchange traded funds or buying direct little shares requires some knowledge and some work. But definitely now, if you would be deciding in Czech Republic how to save for your pension, the long term investment product looks much, much better. And when we are old, after let's say these 35 years, it's much better to have more money that we can use than have less. Because at that point in time, it's very difficult to do much about it. 
And what about you? How do you plan to save for your pension in Czech Republic?